The day is finally here. Today we are signing on our first ever Virgin Voyages cruise and I am so incredibly pumped. I still kind of can't believe this whole situation. I was contacted about a week ago to come on this cruise, so it was a very, very last minute trip, but it was an offer I could not pass up. So here we are, we flew into Miami yesterday and Callum is actually joining me on this cruise, which is super exciting because I was just in England with him about a week and a half ago. So we are reunited once again and we are gonna be cruising for the first time as guests. We're gonna definitely make the most of this cruise. So if you guys have been around, you know, but if you are new here, I do work on a cruise ship. So this is definitely a different experience. Because I work on a ship, it's really common to fly into either Miami or Fort Lauderdale to join the ship for your contract. And my last contract actually was ported out of Miami. So it was really weird to fly into the Miami airport, but not to join a ship as a crew member. And I think it's gonna be even weirder, like pulling up to the port to join the ship as a guest. Anyways, we are going to check out of the hotel and hop on the shuttle bus and we'll be on our way. We got our wristbands, which basically is our room key. We can also pay with this and maybe something else, but such a cool concept. It's kind of cute. It says feeling naughty. And now we are waiting for the free shuttle to downtown. So we're gonna go downtown for a little while and then we can board the ship at 1.30. We quite literally waited an hour for this trolley to arrive. We just missed it because it was cold. We sat for an hour waiting. And then we were just about to throw in the towel and it showed up. So we're going downtown. We just hopped off the trolley and we are going to Bayside. I'm in search of a liquor store because I want to buy a bottle of wine to have on the ship with us because we can bring two bottles on. That's our number one priority for now. I should get a postcard, even though I've been here a billion times. I feel like it's something I have to do. This one's kind of cute. These little crew necks are really cute, and they're only $30. You know if there's jewelry in sight, I've got to look at it. I just have to. It's a rule. You already know, we love a free sample. Oh wow. It's so refreshing. I found this really cute little set. This is the top, and then there's matching pants as well. And I mean, it's actually not that expensive, but the pants I'd have to get hemmed, which is always a bummer, so I couldn't wear it on the trip. So good. So we ended up getting the second flavor we tried, which was passion fruit and mango, and it is delicious. It's super refreshing on a hot day. Mm, 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 mm. We're in CVS, and they've got wine. So we are in luck. Pinot Grigio is good. Yeah, get that Kimmy. Yes. That's what we need. We're off the trolley, and now it's time to join the ship. Let's go. That just happened. Wow. No way. We haven't even seen anything yet and we're already amazed. <laughs> Are we gonna become cruisers? <laughs> because we did the early check-in. So when we got to the ship around 11, we did our check-in stuff then. Because our original time to check-in was 4.45. 
but we got back to the port around 2 15 I would say we lucked out there <laughs> but we gotta go make some dinner reservations because I couldn't really make any in the app and then we're gonna get something to eat maybe some ice cream maybe some lunch but I cannot wait to explore this ship you can do a cruise with friends oh, oh, oh yeah why are the elevators like doing the absolute most as well it's like we're under the sea all of our dinner reservations which worked out perfectly because I wasn't able to make any before we got here and now we're gonna get a slice of pizza because uh, we're pretty hungry. And now we're just gonna explore the ship a bit because it is entirely new to both of us We have no idea where we are so far day one is exceeding my expectations Next on the agenda is we've got to check in to our muster station, which is E6 All of the information obviously we are very knowledgeable on because we work on a ship But we don't really know where the muster stations are so we got to go check in for that and then we have Salway party at 6.30 on the top deck, which we haven't even gotten to yet. So we're gonna walk around a bit and just enjoy. Nice. At your leisure, please make your way to your assembly station as shown on the back of your cabin door or in the Virgin Voyages app. Thank you so much. this sound aren't we it sounds less aggressive here though well it's about time I try the hammock on the balcony yep this is the life <laughs> about that. That was, that was pretty cool. 
my goodness. They're just doing yoga. They're doing oh, yoga. Goodness. Bye, Miami. See you in five days. <laughs> I wish you had the cover. Honestly, that whole time. So we were up on the top deck just watching the, the party, you know, sipping our champagne. And we just made some friends. This couple came over to us and started talking to us. What floor are we on? 12. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, they were super nice. They're getting married on the cruise in Turks and Caicos, which is like stunning. So yeah, we just made some friends. Maybe we'll see them throughout the cruise and um, have a drink together. But we're headed back to the room now. We have quickly freshened up and we are ready for dinner reservations. Tonight we have reservations at Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle at 7.30. So we have changed my outfit, freshened up the hair and makeup, and we are ready to go. My set is from Princess Polly. I haven't worn it in ages, but I think it's super cute, super good for a cruise. And I've got some little ankle heels on. Feeling good. We had two glasses of champagne. So we're ready for dinner. This menu looks really interesting and super good. And we cannot decide on what we want. So good. Food was amazing. We shared everything. It was super good. And now we're at the Sip Lounge and we're having a little cocktail before the comedy show at 10 p.m. So we got espresso martini. That's also she told in the UK. We are back in the room. I personally am absolutely exhausted from today. It's been a really good day. The day has gone by so fast, but it has been a long day and we've been up for many hours. So we're just calling it a night. There is a pajama party this evening, but we are not going to participate in that. I think it's best to just rest and reset for another day tomorrow. The comedy show was pretty funny. The guy was from the UK. He definitely had me cackling at some points and then other parts I was like, eh, you know, but overall it was still entertaining. Anyways, we're gonna get ready for bed. We're gonna get cozy. I'm gonna do my skincare and we're gonna call it a night. to kickstart a wonderful day at sea. I woke up around 7.15, definitely woke up before Callum. You can guess who the morning person is between the two of us. We've already been out on the balcony and enjoyed the sun rising at sea. It's so beautiful, it never gets old, even though we work on a cruise ship, like this view just does not get old. And I just still feel so lucky to be here. I am in so much pain this morning. Last night at dinner, I think I got a little bit of food stuck in my second molar. So it's like all the way in the back of my jaw and it was giving me so much pain last evening. Luckily, I was able to fall asleep easily because I was just so tired. And this morning I woke up. It definitely is better than yesterday, but still a lot of pain. So I don't know how I'm gonna manage to chew, but we're gonna have to figure it out because there's a lot of good food to eat on this ship. So I have put some workout clothes on. We're gonna go to the gym, have a little morning workout, and then grab a bite to eat for breakfast before getting into the sun. And it looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. Like it's already so hot outside. So we're gonna go do a workout, maybe like 30, 45 minutes, give or take. But this is what I'm wearing. So this set is from Halara. It's actually two different pieces, but they're the same color. So I thought it was a cute little look, little biker shorts, and we're gonna get going with the day. for a little 
little bit of breakfast. We've made it to the galley. Thank you. Just uh, pineapple, please, and uh, cantaloupe. Thank you very much. I got a little breakfast sandwich. It's got sausage, cheese, egg, tomato. I might go for round two, but I'm gonna eat this first. Cal got a made-to-order omelet. You just get ham in it? Yeah. With some bacon and those hash browns look so crunchy and <laughs> tasty. thrown on my suit and this little sundress and I've got my bag and we're ready for the pool. We did put some towels down on our way back from breakfast so we got some seats on the top deck and I think I've got everything I need. I've got my Kindle, I've got some sunscreen, I've got my sunglasses in here, headphones, so we're good. just surprised me with this delicious carrot juice from the little juicery. Cheers! We have taken a break from the sun and we are back in the galley for some lunch. I've just grabbed some sushi. We're gonna see what else we're gonna find. I kind of want a taco from this taco place. The tacos look really good, so I had to give them a try. And they're nice and small, so I can maybe try more things if I'm still hungry. And I also got a cucumber avocado roll. We got the same exact taco. Cheers. I haven't tried a single thing I don't like yet. Taking a break from the sun because we actually got invited to a secret event yesterday when we were at the Salway party we were invited so we're gonna head down to the spa we have to meet at 3 p.m. sharp I have no clue what to expect we're going into this completely blind but it's 256 right now so we're gonna walk down and see what it's all about We've made it back to the room. That show was crazy. I could not show anything. Like we were not allowed to take pictures or video. They literally put our phones into this like lock pouch and it was a magic show and it was insane. Like I'm a huge, huge fan of magic. I don't know if people know that about me. Fun fact for you. It was really, really cool. I enjoyed the show so much. He's very talented and um, that was a lot of fun. And I don't really know what our plan is now. It's almost five o'clock, it's like quarter to five. So we have dinner reservations this evening at 8.15 at the Korean barbecue place, which I'm really looking forward to. Still not even hungry after lunch. Today's been a very well-rounded day and you still have half of the day and the evening. We've decided for the entire cruise that we are gonna take the stairs as much as possible unless we have to go from like deck five all the way to deck 15 then we won't yeah but if it's like five six flights of stairs we're, we're doing it so we've been keeping up with it so far which is great chicken wings in other places and I'm very picky. I mean, I'm not a picky eater, but there are no chicken wings as good as wings from home, you know what I mean? But these are quite good. I'm not gonna lie. Mmm, it's good. Put a little cake.
this restaurant, you it's a sharing concept, so you share a table with other guests. So one of us is excited about that. For you to have a taste of, usually before any other course, served as a free appetizer. <laughs> oh, I'm at dinner. Um... <laughs> and we are finally back in the cabin. It's been such a fun evening. First and foremost, dinner was exceptional, like did not disappoint at all. We had been hearing such good things about Gun... Gun Bay? Gun Bay? Gun Bay, Gun Bay, Gun Bay. Oh, we were chanting the name of the restaurant. I thought, why, what's this word for chanting? Yes. <laughs> I love, Welcome to I the circle. The... So we had heard such good things about it and the food was really incredible but also the setup of having to share the table with other strangers ended up being a lot of fun like we had a really good table it was a good time and from there we went to the dual reality show which was in the red room. I like I don't even have words for how amazing that show was. It was all amazing, so we really enjoyed that. Tomorrow is our first port day. We are gonna be in Grand Turk at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So we're gonna get to bed. Today has been phenomenal. We are arriving to Grand Turk, Turks and Caicos, which is a new country for both of us. We're just arriving now and we should get ship clearance around 10 o'clock to get off the ship and go ashore and we have until 6.30. That's when all aboard is. So we basically have the full day to enjoy Turks and Caicos, but I definitely want to get a little bit of movement in before we get off the ship and grab something to eat. So we are headed to the gym. Hopefully we can get in the weights room. Hopefully there's gonna be some space because yesterday it was packed and it's kind of a small space. But if not, I was recommended another gym that apparently is always empty. I mean, we didn't even know about it until yesterday evening we finally found it so so let's head there now let's get a workout in and um let's get on with the day i'm really excited like a mountain of fruit. My food is ready. The omelet looks so good. I've got some country bread, I think that's what they call it, and a vegan sausage to try. Beach fit of the day, we've got head to toe Princess Polly. I just think these are so cute together. And then I have this little bag I got Honestly, I don't remember where I got it, but it was like a dollar. And we have a perfect view of the beach from our room. Just 
look at how crystal clear that water is. Look who we're next to today, Miss Adventure. We are finally off of the ship. It took a couple tries because we got down to the gangway first and realized we forgot our IDs. So we went back up to the room, grabbed our IDs, quick and easy, went back down to the gangway, got off of the ship only to realize there were no towels off the ship. You have to get them either from the room or from the pool deck. So then we went all the way back up to the pool deck, got the towels, and finally we are off the ship. And actually when we were walking on the pier, to get to the port area we ran into a subscriber he was super sweet so that was really fun definitely made my morning and now we've decided to stay close to the port just because we got off a little bit later than we anticipated and we thought about renting a golf cart to drive around but i mean the the beach here is just as beautiful if we went five miles away so we are nice and close to the port if we want to get something to eat or drink it's accessible and um, we've got a really nice spot. We are to the right of the ship. It's very secluded and quiet over here. So it's perfect spot to relax, read our book, and definitely dip in the water. This is where we have planted ourselves. Callum is under a palm tree, nice and tucked away in the shade because he does not like the sun as much as I do. This spot is just stunning. Turks and Caicos is absolutely beautiful. And I know we basically live in the Caribbean being on the ship, but it just doesn't get old to me. I love the sunshine, I love the palm trees, and I love the beach. So we are one of the few people here, which is just amazing. It is time for a drink. We've been melting in the in the sun for a couple hours. So now we're gonna get a little bevy. Let's see what they've got. Ooh, those look good. I'm kind of feeling a margarita. Yeah. What are you thinking? Much frozen. I'd probably be get it on the rocks. These drinks look so good. Yeah. Go. Drinks were very tasty and now we're going to take a peek at some of the shops in the port. I definitely need to get my postcard and maybe we're going to find a red t-shirt or button down or something for Callum because tonight is scarlet night and he doesn't have anything red. Let's pick up some aloe. Callum definitely needs this. Like this small one. Well I really like this one but I also like this one. I like that. Oh I like this one too. Pretty. $75? There's no way. There's no way that that is $75. And we're back. It's 4.30 and we are gonna have a coffee. We're treating ourselves to one of the 
fancy coffees. We haven't done this yet. This place is great because it's right in the galley, but it's kind of an extension of the coffee shop downstairs. Thank you. Perfect. Are the orders fairly small? Yes, it's a small size. It's okay. Kind of style, yes. Okay. I think if you order one of these, you can share all of them. Okay, yeah. can we try two of the grilled shrimp and two of the hanger steak, please? Thank Cheers. you. We are at the dock house, which is on deck seven, all the way at the back of the ship. And we've decided to come here because we haven't tried the food yet. Bye. Bye, adventure. The adventure is leaving right now. Um, I've heard really good things about the food here, so we decided to try it out. We were upstairs at the galley, which the food has been great there, but we decided to come down here. You shout and enjoy the kids. Did he just say that? Yeah. bump in the road when we got back to the cabin. Callum sliced his finger tip, literally like the tip of his pointer finger, on his brand new razor. So we did take care of that. It was bleeding a lot, but luckily he's fine. We wrapped it up. We're good. And now we freshen up for Scarlet Night. So I did pack accordingly. I packed a red dress, which I am happy that I did some research before packing because otherwise I would have had no idea. But we're gonna give you a fit check. So I am wearing this dress from Princess Polly. I've got my little nude heels on from <laughs> Forever 21. And earrings are, I wanna say they're from Amazon. That's it. I use a T3 Micro to curl my hair. What are you wearing? I have my shirt from Zara, my belt from Calvin Klein, my trousers from but I just buy these next. from Next. And then my shoes are Steve Madden. And we're all spiffed up and ready to go. I am pretty full. I don't feel like overstuffed. I definitely didn't overeat, so proud of myself for that one. But um, we did eat a lot of really good food. And now we're headed up to the pool deck because it is obviously Scarlet Night and some sort of party is starting at 4 of our 5 day cruise. Cannot believe how fast it's going. Today's another sea day. Today it's a little bit gloomy outside. I think it rained overnight or maybe early this morning. There's a bit of moisture on our balcony and it's quite overcast outside. There's a bit of wind but good news is is that in the distance it is definitely looking a little bit brighter so hopefully in a couple hours we should have some sunshine and we can catch some rays this afternoon. We're going to start the morning off as we have the past couple days with a workout. So I've just thrown on this little gym outfit. Top is Fabletics and bottoms are Halara. But we're gonna get a workout in. Hopefully it's not too busy in the gym this morning because the party was last night. So I kind of presume that most people stayed out late and they're not gonna be rushing to the gym. We did have fun at the party. We didn't stay super long. Probably went to bed around midnight. But yeah, it was really fun to see. I'm really glad we went. It was definitely a good time. And yeah, we're ready for another great day. 
How's the finger doing? <laughs> Yesterday's so casualty. Bad. It's not that bad. Like, people aren't going to notice it as much as you think. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> interesting the people you meet you never know who you're gonna come in contact with because we were just waiting for our coffee and he just started talking to us because he saw I had the camera and uh, it turns out he's a wedding videographer so we got to talking about filming stuff and equipment and it was just really cool so I always really enjoy meeting new people Switched it up for breakfast this morning. I want to try everything. So every morning I'm trying to get something a little different. So today I got, it's kind of like Eggs Benedict, but a Mexican twist, if you will. And then I got some hash browns and bacon. Calm got the same, <laughs> but his toppled over a little on the way here. And today we're sitting outside. A little change of plans. We actually made it back to the dock house where we had left our towels laying out for us, kind of reserving the spot. And someone just literally sat down there. So, I mean, I wouldn't personally do that, but other people are not the same. So it's okay, we just regrouped. We're still on deck seven. We are on, on like the side of the ship, which actually is super nice. There's lounge beds over here, some chairs to sit. So we're actually right next to the pizza place and there is an open sofa. So we're gonna lay here, we're right in the sun. Um, and there's also a spot for shade for Callum because he's quite burnt and he doesn't really wanna be in the sun. So uh, it's the best of both worlds for us. I am going to dive into my book. I've got about like, maybe 15 minutes left of the book and then I'm going to be done and then I can move on to the next one. Starting book number two of the cruise, I'm going to be reading The Lion Club, The Lion, <laughs> The Lying Club by Annie Ward. I don't think I've read anything of hers yet. Here goes nothing. It's nearly 4 o'clock, which means it's time for some ice cream. We had a little bite to eat, and now we need something sweet. I'm feeling pistachio, I think. decided to stop for another coffee. Did we need it? No, we did not, but we love coffee and we still have quite a few credits to use before we sign off on Wednesday. So here we are. We're going to drink our coffee and we're going to play some games, some board games, because I have like a little game center. hours we've just relaxed in the cabin for a bit and now we are all ready to go for another night out it is night four 
So tonight we have reservations at The Wake, which is the steakhouse on board. I've heard it's pretty good, so I am looking forward to that. I didn't eat too much for lunch, so I am definitely feeling a little bit hungry, and I absolutely love my outfit this evening. This is brand new. This is from Princess Polly. It's like a little set. And my hair was super dirty, so I've thrown it into like a high ponytail with a little braid and called it a day. It's been a good C day. I feel like I've got a lot of color today. I made good progress. I started a new book and I'm already like a hundred plus pages in. So I really like it so far. And we're gonna have a great evening. I gotta get to the next question. already day five the past four days have just flown by but i feel like we've done so much on this cruise and today we still have a full day full of exciting activities so today we are in the bahamas i did go to the gym this morning and i did about 45 minutes on the treadmill i did an incline walk at a 15 with the speed of five kilometers per hour i don't know what that is in miles per hour either way it was a really good sweat sesh i've showered and now i'm ready for the beach. It's the final day to get a little more color before going back to Buffalo. I don't really know how the weather is at home, but it's not as good as here, obviously. So, really excited to get off the ship, swim in the ocean, and just enjoy. It looks absolutely beautiful once again. This water is just so stunning. What the heck? It's too bad I did not pack my drone for this trip. I didn't have any space in my bag. Breakfast is served. I got a chorizo burrito, a little bit of scrambled eggs, chicken sausage. Those are for Callum. They came with my burrito and some hash browns. Wow, this is beautiful. Look at this place. Gorgeous. We're on the beach. The beach is just beautiful. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose my hat though because there's a little bit of wind going on, but it is just stunning. We got a very prime spot right on the beach. We got very lucky with these seats. I was walking around trying to find seats for us because there was literally nothing. Like every single chair was taken, but I found two seats right at the edge of the beach and they were unoccupied. So we sat down and we were sitting next to this very nice couple. They just left and gave us their seats so that Callum can sit in the shade. I'm obviously in the sun, but we're very pleased. It's a, it's a perfect spot. gonna get a little bite to eat. They've got some different stuff on the menu for sure. This food looks so good. So we got an assortment of a few different things. The amount of flavor on this chicken is crazy. to freshen up for dinner I really needed to wash my hair because of the ocean water was making it very crusty so wash the hair I've got clean hair threw on a little sundress and my 
same heels and we are ready for the evening. I think we're gonna kind of graze and have like little bites here and there for dinner rather than having like a proper sit down meal. We had reservations for the Italian restaurant but we ended up canceling them. So I think this plan is gonna work out better for us because it is the last evening. We're not really gonna be restricted with time. And we just reserved a little time slot for the private karaoke rooms, which neither of us can sing, but it's gonna be fun. So that's at eight o'clock. show this evening it was at 10 o'clock i honestly don't remember the name but it was kind of like an untitled dance party show thing it was something like that but we didn't stay the entire time because my feet were killing me from the shoes and we were standing but it is the end of the trip we're packing our last minute things i'm pretty much all good to go um we fly back to buffalo tomorrow at 11 30 so we are disembarking the ship around 8 30 just to be safe but it has been an unbelievable trip I am so thankful that I was able to come on this trip. The timing worked out and the fact that I was invited to come here to create content and work with Virgin Voyages was just insane. Like I still can't believe it. It was an absolutely amazing opportunity and I'm so grateful for it and it would not have been possible without any of you guys. So thank you so much for supporting my channel and always being here. And enjoying my content because it means more to me than you'll ever know. We are going to get to bed. I hope you enjoyed following along our adventures this cruise and hopefully we get to do it again soon but I love you to the moon and back. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.